hello hello and welcome to the channel today we are here with blue lagoon marine to have a look at this sea ray sun dancer 315 two things i want to point out right at the start first thing is it does not come with this trailer that's just a storage mechanism and also you'll notice quite logically there is no bow thruster not a biggie some people like them some people aren't fussed about them but because this is a single engine boat you may well want to fit one and around three and a half to four thousand pounds should get you a decent uh, recognized branded bow thruster so let's go and have a quick look on board before we do that because she's out of the water we will just have a very quick peek underneath at the drive leg so there you go she's got a dpg duo prop drive leg you can see trim tabs as well and quite a decent extended bathing platform now this is quite unusual because for an american boat this has got a cad 300 volvo penta diesel engine so we'll start on the bathing platform as you would imagine there's a swim ladder underneath there with a nice grab handle to get you on board ski hook over here and quite a decent locker under here for things like fenders and then hidden around the back there you can see right in there is your shore power plug and there's two of them entrance through the side gate here and you can see equally fenders fenders cleats on uh, on both sides and that takes us into the cockpit as i say through this little cockpit door into a very very spacious cockpit a run of seating around here removable table there's a mini wet bar area here and the quite nice thing is this whole seat section here there's a lever down here you can pull this lever out slide that seat across here to meet the stern seat it leaves this little arch in the way but that gives you a very very large sunbathing area that takes you from the head here of the chaise longs right the way through the gap to there engine bay as i say volvo penta cad 300 under there we'll have a look at that when we finished but just a couple of bits while we are out in the cockpit number one is the dc power box down here Ooh, so in there you can see you've got the battery switches and the dc trip switches in there the breaker panel down below here we have the uh, manual bilge pump and down in here is transom shower or swim platform shower so you can wash yourself off when you've had a swim and then there's a little storage bin in there there's another large locker under the wet bar area that massive locker look in there I think that's possibly designed looking at the feet at the bottom there to take an ice box so the idea is you fill your ice box at home bring it down on the boat chuck it in there storage locker in there little sink in there again with an extendable mixer tap and shower array of cup holders and on the starboard side we've got the helm seat as you would expect with a pop-up bolster then over here we've got the Volvo Penta controls EDC controls for the engine cup holder and the manual override for the fire extinguisher system for the engine bay control panel for sort of standard C-ray control panel for all the ancillaries and then you've got the usual array of analog switches binnacle compass and I believe there's a standard horizon uh, GPS system that comes with this again like, and the reason this appears to be so much space around here is because there are no side decks so like a lot of these boats if you want to move forward it's pretty straightforward you use the steps in the cockpit canopy door that takes you up through this folding glass panel here and that would then take you onto the foredeck like so there's a foredeck hatch window there and then over here we have little windlass for the anchor anchor switches here so you can press your feet on them to lift the anchors up and down and then in here is a little anchor locker so somewhere to store a few fenders anchor 
lines and alike on a little gas strut. So there you go. And obviously you can see it comes with a radar arch and then there's a, a whole array of zipping covers. So you have a bimini, so you have a little one on the top. If it's a hot day, you want to keep the sun off or if the weather's not very nice, you can zip in the whole section and keep yourself warm and dry. Just while we're here, bit of a low tide in pool today. So anyway, let's carry on with our tour. I will just clamber back aboard. And we shall go and have a look down below. So this whole door section with the steps built into it slides neatly across and gives you a really big aperture. So if you're like me and you like to bang your head as you go down below, you should be fine on this. There's an inset step down there as well with a drain in it. And there you go, that is the inside of a Sea Ray Sundancer 315. And again, 30 foot boat, just over 30 foot boat. So on the port side here we have the dinette, which I'm sure you can imagine, table drops down and infills to give you a double berth over this side. All the way ahead is another double berth. So as you can see at the moment, the infill cushions are in, the table's been dropped down, like so, so you can see the table there. That lifts up and gives you a full table. I'll drop in a picture of the table up, but then you can see nice big double berth, incredible headroom, absolutely incredible headroom. And there's a curtain here. So this whole curtain slides across this section here and gives you, it's not as good as a door, but it does give you visual separation between the people sleeping here and the people sleeping on the dinette. Sink, hob, storage cupboard, microwave, opening port light for ventilation. And as we looked at when we were on the fore deck, there is the fore deck hatch with the fly screen over to so stop the flies and mosquitoes coming in and out. There's a little bit of storage over the side there, speakers all the way through here, and cupboards on both sides one that side and one on this side, like so. There's also, I believe, yeah, here we go, look, a little run of storage underneath there, and a couple of light switches in here. So if I go up to the front of the boat, that gives you a view of the dinette and there's cupboards as you can see in storage all the way around there another opening port light underneath the galley storage cupboard in here and then a good old-fashioned conventional fridge in there Ooh. so behind the galley sorry behind the dinette you can see there's an aft cabin and on the other side here, we have the heads, which is, I would say, pretty standard, pretty conventional. Being an American boat, it comes with a vacuum flush loo with a foot, stop, with a foot pump. There's a cupboard underneath there. Sink here with the usual mixer tap that pulls out as a shower. Little storage cupboard behind. And ventilation via the opening port light. And obviously illumination up here as well. And as you would expect, shower curtain so you can close that entire area off and also very very large mirror so after you've showered you can check your hairs okay quite a useful storage bin for rubbish under the step decent size cupboard in here which basically houses the second set of trip switches so that's for your dc volts in here and the top one is for your mains voltage and you can see, showing you the, that this is a, a boat from a different era, CD player and CD storage below. And then behind that is the aft cabin, if you like. So this, again, like we always see, so this raised area here that shows long and this little window here is what gives you that extra headroom when you're down in this aft cockpit cabin. Mirrors there to again give you a bit of extra light. Then there's individual lights, reading lights on both sides. And then a large bed that disappears underneath the cockpit sole. 
as you can see. Surprisingly large bed, in fact. But there you go. So that is the inside. We'll head back out before we leave and go and have a quick look at the engine bay. I just need to lift the engine bay covers up. So I'll do that and we'll have a look in the engine bay. So here we have the engine bay open. And as you can see in there is a very nice Volvo Penta CAD 300 diesel engine. Pretty unusual, a lot of these boats you'll find, especially the US boats, boats from America, have tend to have petrol engines in, so it's really nice to see a diesel Volvo Penta engine in there. Down here you can see the um, waste pump, and there is, I imagine, the fresh water tank in there. Looks to be a fairly new, actually, Seaboy fire suppression system over there. And then that grey or white box over the back there is the immersion heater. And then down the side here you have battery bank and that chat with the screw on top at the bottom down there is your fuel water separator. So there you go, that is a Sea Ray 315. I hope you've enjoyed the tour, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you next time round. Thanks for watching.